Hey folks, and thanks for joining me. I thought I would take a few minutes for folks that are new to the hobby and cover the grid bias network that uh, Crosley used in this 5 Victor 1, which is applicable as well to the 5 Victor 2 receiver. You can see the uh, three resistors located here. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see those as resistors uh, number 43, 42, and 41. Let me just double check my B plus voltage for reference to make sure I've got my Variac set up correctly. Let me zoom out here just for a minute. My B plus point coming into the other voltage divider that I'll cover later shooting for uh, 240 volts. I'm just under that at 239. Let me uh, bump the Variac just for a moment and get closer to 240. All right, we'll recheck close enough. Now I'm going to look at the voltage from the uh, center tap of the power transformer. Again, this being a full wave rectifier. And you can see the voltage drop across the uh, fill coil of uh, 62.5 volts. Again, the receiver has been playing for a while. So the fill coil is uh, heated up. The DC resistance has increased. We'll do the math on that and I'll show you guys the B plus current as well here in just a bit. We're going to start out with the 62.6 uh, volts. Again, it's negative and we're going to reduce that down for the grids of the 6 Delta 6, the 6 Baker 7, and the Type 42 output tube across the uh, first resistor. You can see at the tap point we're about 12.42 volts, again negative. And then the second tap location right at 2.5 and how we arrive at those particular voltages which will include the uh, current flow through the uh, resistors in addition to the uh, voltage drop across each resistor. Then I'll circle back on the B plus current of this receiver with the uh, B plus at or near 240 volts uh, DC. Thanks for following along with me. Let's look at the voltage drop across the uh, first resistor. In this example, is called out as R1, 500K. And you can see our voltage drop across the resistor of around 49 volts. If we go to the uh, second resistor, that being the 100K, you can see the voltage drop around 9.92. And of course, the remaining voltage drop to ground is around 2.5 volts. Again, I had already mentioned the voltage drop across the uh, fill coil of roughly uh, 62 to 63 volts. Again, we can use Ohm's law as all the current is flowing back through to the uh, center tap of the transformer. So you can see we can take Ohm's law, the voltage divided by resistance equals the current in amps. Again, you'll see the fill coil DC resistance change. I put a note here, cold to hot. So you can see before I started the receiver up, measured about 1043. After running the receiver for about 30, 45 minutes, Turning the power off and looking at the DC resistance of the fuel coil, you can see the DC resistance uh, changed to about 1160. In this particular design, you can see that the uh, voltage divider is in parallel with the uh, fuel coil. So just doing the math, you can see there's just a slight reduction of a few ohms of DC resistance with the inclusion of the uh, voltage dropping network located here, that making up of the 500K, 100K, and 25K resistor for a total of 625,000 ohms of DC resistance. If you calculate the current based on the numbers that we plugged in, you can see the current consumption again is de minimis due to this being you know, a grid powering uh, schema. So about 100 microamps in this case, or 0 
0 0.01 amps or 0.1 milliamps. So if you look at resistor number 43, you can see I'm taking the starting voltage drop of 62.6 minus the 12.4 volts. That's our tap voltage, that first location that we want. Divide that by the current, and you can see that brings me to that uh, 502K, so closest uh, value around 500K. You can go down to resistor number 42. You'll see the same starting out with the 12.4 volts minus the 2.5 divided again by the 0.1 milliamps times 1,000 gives me 99K or 100,000 ohms. And then the last resistor that attaches back to the uh, circuit ground, number 41, we got to get rid of the remaining 2.5 volts. Same math there, and we come up with 25,000 ohms. So that's how simple it is. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I'll uh, move on to the next voltage divider circuit, and then we'll wrap up with the last resistor that I placed in to reduce the uh, line input voltage and conclude the uh, little mini-series with a uh, video on that. You guys uh, take care and stay well.